Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this stories design using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it looks. We can see that we have these stories over here and if I scroll to the right, we have more stories over here. And if I click on any of these stories, we can see that it is displayed over here in full screen. And after some time, it moves on to the next story. And we can also click on the next and the previous buttons to go to the next and the previous stories. And we also have the title of the story displayed over here. And we can click on this close button to close the stories. So this is what we are designing in this tutorial series. Now in the previous video, we wrote the HTML of this design. So this is how it looks. All the elements are displayed over here. Now in this video, we will start with the CSS and make it look like this. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, this is the HTML. Now we have already linked our style.css file over here. So let's go to the style.css file and let's start with the styling of this stories container division. So if you go back to the HTML, here we can see we have this division with the class of stories container. So let's target that. Let's start stories container. And the first thing we will do is uh, we will make all these uh, images one next to the other. So for that, let's type display of flex. And now we can see all the images are one next to the other. All right, now let's set a height and a width for these images. So here we can see we have this height and width for the image. And we also have a round shape for the image. So if you go back to the index.html file, here we can see inside the stories container division, we have a division with the class of content and in that we have the IMG tag. So let's target that. Here just type stories container, content, IMG, and let's set the height and the width to 90 pixels and we'll also type border radius and set it to 50 percent so that we have round shape and now let's go back to our browser and here we can see we have this round shape for these images now the next thing we will do is we will fix the aspect ratio so here I'll just type object fit and set it to cover and now we can see we have the correct aspect ratio all right now let's go back to styling the stories container so here we can see we have this uh, box shadow for this stories container. So let's add some more styles over here. So I'll just set the background color to white. And we'll also add a box shadow. And we'll set the values to 0, 3 pixels, 24 pixels, negative 8 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.3. And we'll also set a width. So let's type width. And let's set it to 700 pixels. And we'll also bring it to the center. So I'll just type margin, zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. Now let's add a padding. So let's type padding and let's set it to eight pixels. And we'll also add border radius and let's set it to eight pixels. Now let's also add some gap between these images. So for that, let's type gap and let's set it to 16 pixels and let's see how it looks. And I think we can increase it a little bit more. So let's try 48 pixels. And I think that looks all right. Now the next thing we will do is we will hide everything that goes outside this stories container division. So we don't want to display these images over here on the right. So here I just type overflow and set it to hidden. And now we can see all the other images are not being displayed over here. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to scroll to the right. So here I'll just type overflow x and set it to scroll and now here we can see we are able to scroll to the right all right now the next thing we will do is we'll create this outer circle so first of all we need to have this white circle over here and after that we need to have this uh, red circle so for that we will use the before and the after selectors so here let's type stories container content colon colon before and uh, let's type content and if we just type one two three over here we can see that one two three is displayed over here before all these images so in this way we can add additional information to our web page now we don't want to have one two three displayed so let's delete this and uh, here we will just set the height and the width so let's set the height to let's try 98 pixels and the width to 98 pixels and for the first circle, we need to have a background color of white. And we'll also set the border radius to 50% so that we have a circle. 
and now what we will do is we'll position this before selector relative to the content so let's type stories container content and here let's type position relative and here we'll just type position absolute and let's set the top position to 50 percent and the left position to 50 percent now if we save this and go back here we can see we have this circle starting from the center now we need to bring it to the center exactly so for that you have to type transform translate and set it to negative 50 percent for the x and the y axis and now we can see it is in the center exactly now we want the image to be on top of the white circle so what we will do is we'll go over here to the img tag and here we'll just type z index and let's set it to 300 and we also need to set the position to something so here we can see we have a position set to absolute so we have to add some kind of position over here so that the z index should work so i just type position relative and now we can see we have this image and outside the image we have the white circle but we cannot see it right now so let's also create the other circle so let's go back and uh, for that we will use the after selector now it will also have almost the same styles so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and let's change the height and uh, let's change it to 106 let's change the width to 106 and let's change the background color and let's set it to linear gradient and for the first color i'll just type dd2a7b and then for the second color i'll just type f58529 now we also need to set the z index for both these circles so for the white circle let's set a z index of 101 and for this one let's set a z index of 100 and here we need to use the after selector not the before selector so let's type after all right now we can see we have both the circles displayed over here now the image is displayed a little bit to the top so let's fix that now to fix this you can use a line of code in the img selector called vertical align and set it to middle and now we can see everything is looking all right now i think we can add some more padding to this stories container so let's go back over here to the stories container and for the padding let's set it to for left and right we will set a padding of 32 pixels and for top and bottom we will set a padding of 16 pixels let's see how it looks i think we can increase it a little bit more so let's try 20 pixels over here for top and bottom and for left and right let's try 36 pixels and i think that looks all right so that's basically it with the design of this stories container so that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to design the full screen mode over here so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,